Are you tired of having to rebuild the same thing part by part over and over again? If you answered yes, then today's your lucky day, as one of the new powers in Tears of the Kingdom is Auto Build, which saves your creations so you can quickly rebuild them again if the parts are present. However, it does take some effort to unlock, and it involves a two-part questline with Josha at Lookout Landing. Or you could skip all that and just go straight to it if you know where to go, or you could be like me and not know where you're going and come across it happenstance. So let me tell you how to get auto build fast. Before you begin this journey, I recommend stocking up on bows, arrows, and bright bloom seeds. These will be imperative to light your way and take on a boss battle which occurs right after acquiring auto build. After equipping yourself, you'll make your way to the Great Plateau, and I recommend getting there after acquiring the Paraglider through the game's main story. Just descend from the Great Sky Island, and you should get there relatively soon. Next, you'll head to the Eastern Abbey, where you'll find the Great Plateau East Chasm, which you'll swiftly jump down into the depths. Using Bright Bloom Seeds to light your way, your destination is a few paces west to the Great Abandoned Central Mine, which shouldn't be too hard to find as it's covered in lights. There you will come across researchers fiddling with a steward construct, which you'll then activate in order to finally acquire Auto Build. Then you'll go through a brief tutorial on how to use it before engaging in a surprise boss battle. And I'm not going to spoil that here. So that's how you get Auto Build quickly in Tears of the Kingdom. I hope this is a great help to make your journey through Hyrule a bit easier. Until next time, bye.